In this video, we are going to make and host a small website on Docker container. So we are going to use Nginx as our uh, web server and using that when Nginx, we are going to host a simple website, but you can host any website using that. So it's not that you cannot host any other website. So just jump into that. What we are going to use Nginx and Docker. So combination of that and we will host a website using that. So let's directly jump in. First thing, you should be having a Docker desktop running on your system. If you don't have Docker desktop running, then you can obviously download that and install on Windows, Mac or any other system. Or next time, maybe we, I will make a video where we can use AWS, EC2 instance, etc. And there uh, we are going to do the installation of the Docker also. So as of now, if you have a Docker desktop running on already on your system, that's fine. Otherwise, you can install it and then we can jump in from there. So you can see it is completely free. There is nothing, no images, no containers, etc. And this is my console. So if I say Docker, then you can see that Docker is running and uh, yeah, we can see all the options available with Docker. And this is the Docker Hub. So from the Docker Hub, we are going to use the repository and uh, let's search Nginx. Nginx. So we will get what exactly is available, what are different images available on Nginx. And let's click on the first one, which is simply called Web Services. And we have everything already documented here. So we don't need to research much and we need to use whatever instructions are available here. We are not going to complicate it very much and we will keep it very simple. And in a simple terms only, we are going to just uh, create an image, run that and uh, point to a directory where our image or website will be hosted. And then we are going to export the port so that we can access our website on that specific port. So let's go ahead and this is the command docker run hyphen names, your image name, whatever you want to put it. And then this is your local directory where you are going to put your web content like index.html or any other web pages which you are going to have. So that is completely free. Whatever you want to put it here, that you can put it. And we can define this directory also. This is the directory which where exactly the web will be pointed. So this, this content of this directory is going to be pointed or mounted here. And from there, read only access and we are going to create Nginx. And one more thing is there, we need to export the port also. So this part also we can run it together itself. So directly copy this and let's go to our console. Let's clear it. And let me paste here. And let's change the options. So what I'm going to use here, uh, dot slash so whatever directory we are and we will create a directory called website okay the the uh, directory for storing the web page content so whatever we want to store we will use website and then we will create usr share nginx that we don't need to touch now we can change the name of docker image which we are going to create here so let's change it and let's call it my first website my first website sorry for typing mistakes and so let's correct it my first website and one more option we have to use here is since we have to export the port also so we can use the ports also so by default it is going to listen on port 80 and on our system, we can use port 8080 or any other port so that we can choose. In my case, I will use 8085 because 8080 I am already using for another application. And 80 is the port where uh, Nginx is going to listen within the container. So I hope this looks fine. And this is the image which we are going to use. And this will be running as the daemon so hyphen d says daemon so it will be running in the backend let's click on enter and it says jedis not found. okay the problem is that dollar is there so we need to remove this dollar uh yes okay now it's running 
it should take a couple of minutes it says it is not able to find nginx lattice so it is going to download and now it is pulling and then download complete download new image for nginx and if i say docker ps here so you can see this docker image is available right docker ps is available this is the container id so docker is running already and if i check docker images so we can see nginx latex docker image is also available this is four weeks old image and when it is started running it is started running eight seconds ago so if i go here in this website directory which we are trying to run here so do we have a website directory i already have that website directory so let's go there pwd so cd website and ls hyphen ltr clear so as of now we are in this directory and if we list all the files here we don't have anything available so let's go and run this so the url we are going to have is 8085 that's where we are listening so i am going to have here 8085 and let's say it says 403 forbidden so what we are going to do we are going to create a simple index file here so index dot html let's create vi index dot html so that whenever server is mounted on this directory and it is trying to find index dot html it should be able to so i'm not going to put too much code here we can always use obviously a lot of coding or we if we already have existing website we can do that also so what we are going to do here h1 sorry h1 and then mukesh Burwalia, that is my name and h1 you can download or take any content uh, if you're not able to write then simply we have to go here and control wq skip control wq and save and now we have our index.html website available and let's refresh it oh you can see it is able to read it directly now if we make any changes in that comment content of that that should be reflecting immediately here so if we make any changes in this website that should immediately reflect because this directory is directly being pointed by nginx server so it is mounted actually internally and that's why whatever changes we are making in this directory so let's say like and subscribe so if you have got something here let's see if it changes yes like and subscribe and the port which we defined it is listening on that port exactly so i hope we have been able to make our first website using nginx and docker and we are able to host it we are able to continuously make changes the mount point is also there and that was very easy we directly use nothing else but the official image or document which is there on the docker hub so using that we were simply able to make it thank you thank you for staying till here and i'm sure your website is also running if it's not running do let me know in the comment section any problem don't forget to subscribe and if you have learned do like the video thank you